Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's a special video. I'm really excited to make this one. It's taking me a little longer because I have some work stuff to do. But this is finally a redemption video where I have amassed my MXMR points and I've decided to do a redemption with clear and intentional goals on making the most of it, comprehensively that is. So now I've done a video before about some of the pitfalls of redemption, how difficult it can be, and also how you have to research ways in order to effectively redeem your points without listening to outlandish claims made by people who don't particularly end up showing you how to do anything. So I'm really happy to make this one for you. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll understand that this is how I essentially got $20,000 worth of tickets to Paris and back from South Florida, round trip tick, well, a round trip. I've done almost 20K value of a round trip for less than 700 bucks. So that's pretty much a 93% discount. And it all comes from using points to maximize simple point values so that I have to pay as little out of pocket as possible. And this way, me and my wife get an awesome first year anniversary trip and we're really looking forward to it. Now, originally I was just gonna make one long video, but then I realized, like, what's the point of that? It's no, there's no real reason for me to sit here and take up a bunch of your time when I feel like smaller bites might be easier for people to rewind and maybe I can put more things in it that maybe you'll find useful. Even if I may not think they're useful, they may help somebody else out. So what I'm gonna do is instead of breaking this up in the order that I booked the flights, which was out of order, I'm actually gonna be filming this video in the order of our departure. So basically starting with our positioning flight, then our flight to Paris, and then the next video will be our return trip in order to get us back home. Now, a few quick things before we start. My beginning balance of MR points is just under 392,000 when I started this whole thing. So that's just to give you an idea of where my starting point is. And I pretty much burned through a couple of sign up bonuses, burned through a couple of bonus spend, burned through a couple of referral bonuses in order to make this happen. So for this video particularly, we're just gonna be talking about the positioning flight, how I booked that, what I did to book it, the Semper Point value, and also our initial flight into Paris, how I booked that, the Semper Point value, and pretty much how that works. Now, for those of you who are not aware, a positioning flight is basically a flight that you use to get you to a hub where you'll be flying internationally from. So in my situation, my main airport is Palm Beach International. I live in Southern Florida, but I mainly fly Delta, so I consider myself hub locked to Atlanta. So what I actually did was found a flight to Paris out of Atlanta. So my positioning flight will actually take me from Palm Beach to Atlanta, which is about 500 miles. So you really don't want to break the bank on that one, but that's what my positioning flight will be. So that will be the first booking that you'll see on the screen. And then we'll go right into the flight to Paris. Hey, what's up everybody? So here is where it begins. We are now on the British Airways website. So now if you look here, you'll see I started out at the payment page and you'll see the total price as $11.20. So now as you can see here, I'm scrolling through and you'll see that the final price was $11 to get us from Palm Beach to Atlanta to position us for our flight to Paris. So of course I got rid of my um, card number and you'll see the spinning wheel here. Now I use British Airways to actually book an American flight, please, I already know, but I did book an American flight in order to get us from Palm Beach to Atlanta. So here's where I did the cross booking and I'm just waiting on the booking to be confirmed. And you know, just like credit cards, you get that spinning wheel and you're just like wondering if it's gonna go through even though this is already something you've paid for. So of course it's gonna go through. And as you can see there, I'm congratulated that my booking is confirmed. I had to block out my record locator 
because if you're aware of security like I am, you know there is a lot of information that can be gleaned from your record locator if it falls into the wrong hands. So once again, you can see here, it has thanked me for my booking. The booking is confirmed. And again, the total price is shown for that $11.20 flight for two from Florida to Atlanta. Now for this particular flight from Palm Beach to Atlanta, the Semper Point actually worked out lower than I would specifically like because it worked out to 0.6 cents because we spent 30,000 British Airway Avios in addition to the $11.20. So it worked out to 15,000 Avios per person. It was kind of short notice. There wasn't any availability on Virgin, but I just wanted to be transparent as to how much it costed. So the cash price was $213 for both tickets minus the 11.20 divided by 30,000 points. And that gets you a Semper Point total of 0.6. So now what you see here is my beginning Amex MR point balance. This is the balance from which I started dipping into the pot in order to get this whole process started because we're actually going to get into the very first booking that I did because I told you I was going to show you these out of order. But when you go to the American Express landing page, what you're going to need to do is actually transfer your points from American Express to your preferred travel partner. Now, unfortunately, I just missed the cutoff, that big sale that they had in September. So I actually spent more points than I originally intended to. But hey, you win some, you lose some. So now, as you can see here, I'm choosing Virgin. And you also want to make sure that when you do these point redemptions, you want to check and double check to make sure you are doing the proper redemption. So this timing worked out best for us and you'll see the per person point value. And now you see the total point value with what? Another $11 flight in order to get us to Paris, France. This is for two people. And these are all the ending numbers. So now I complete the purchase here because I've already done the transfer on the back end. So that way you guys didn't have to sit through that. It's a one to one transfer, a minimum of a thousand points. And it looks here that the booking is complete. Now there was something going on with the uh, seating, but I ended up having to get that all fixed up. So I got it set and we did end up getting Delta one from Atlanta to Paris. And there you have it. So for our positioning flight, we use British Airways to actually book an American flight. I know, I know I've been very vocal about how I feel about American. But the fact of the matter is, it's just a positioning flight, so I'll go ahead and grin and bear it for now. But we use British Airways to book an American flight from Palm Beach to Atlanta for two. So all we spent out of pocket was $11.20. Now, I didn't care for the cent per point because essentially because I had to spend 30,000 points, I was more concerned with the money out of pocket. So I really actually only got, per my calculations, 0.6 cents per point in order to get from Palm Beach to Atlanta. Now I do have the Delta Sky Miles Platinum card, but I didn't want to burn a companion ticket for that because the wife also has it. We want to save those for pretty much transcontinental trips to get the most value out of them. So this one, we had to take it on the chin. Now, additionally, I used Virgin Atlantic to actually book our one-way ticket to Paris at a cost of 155,000 points. And once again, only $11.20 out of pocket. So that was pretty awesome. We definitely recouped the cents per point value from that booking, which was fantastic. So essentially now, all we have to do is wake up and... Once we fly out the 14th, by the time it hits the 17th, which is our actual anniversary, we will be in Paris for a grand total out of pocket for flights of $22 and 40 cents. And that is utterly fantastic. So for the comprehensive cash total for just our outbound flights, as of today, October 21st, it is $9,182 in flights to get us from our front door to 
the country of France. Now, if we minus, if we subtract the taxes, the 1120 for both flights, coming out to a grand total of 2240, and then we divide by the 185,000 points that were redeemed for these two flights, we come up with a cent per point value to get us from our house to Paris, France of 4.95 cents per point. So don't get me wrong, I took a hit on the American flight, but we made up for it in order to get to Paris. So I hope you have enjoyed this first part of our Paris trip redemption. I'm, I really had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, it was a little bit of a head scratcher. Now, mind you, don't get me wrong. If you look back at the video that I made before about point redemptions, yeah, I got excited. I went against a couple of my own rules, but at the same time, it was really for the greater good. And we still have a part two because I still had to get us from Paris back home. And I look forward to showing that to you. So once again, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I, I really, really, really hope that you got some value out of this. And if so, please don't be shy. Hit the subscribe button. We definitely need more subscribers. I love the interaction. The comments have been great. Well, not all of them, but it is what it is. If I ask for it, I got to respond to it. But the comments have been great. Please share and please hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified so you can see how this all turns out. And until next time, take it easy.